Justin, thank you. Reaching some new altitudes right here in the valley today. A group of high school students who are learning to become pilots are unveiling a new $1.1 million aviation lab. So Faith Lutheran Middle and High School is exposing their students to a field as a way to fix the pilot shortage here in the valley. And so new this morning right now, Rachel Moore joins us live in studio. And Rachel, you did a little test flight yourself. I so did. How, how are your skills? It, well, not great, I have to say. <laughs> and when you see these simulators, it looks like they're, they're video games, but they equipment in this flight academy has been approved by the Federal Aviation Administration and it's used in everyday flight instruction and that's what Faith Lutheran wants to give its students an accredited program that will help them earn their pilot's license before they even graduate high school. I really really like it. It's really helped me with my flight training because we get to come here and um, like everyone else said, fly on the simulators, which takes off a lot of time in the airplane. And just like driving, you have to log a lot of flying time. The Federal Aviation Administration requires 1,500 flight hours. And that was Eliana Rao, a junior at Faith Lutheran. Next year, she'll earn her pilot's license before graduating from high school. You actually only have to be 17 years old to earn your license. Now, she and her classmates are instructed by a certified flight instructor inside this facility that houses two five-screen flight simulators approved by the FAA. This class is where training and other foundational instruction are provided to give students the skills they need to succeed. The instructor, Bianca Lorenz, said that like many industries, aviation suffered from the pandemic, but also right now not enough pilots are being trained. A lot of pilots and people training to become pilots are reaching that retirement age, so early exposure to this industry is key in combating a pilot shortage, because if there aren't enough pilots, that means there are fewer flights, which will raise airfares. The other important factor is changing the face of aviation. This is a male-dominated field where less than 7% of pilots are women, but listen to what Lorenz had to say on why it's actually beneficial to get more women and girls in Statistically speaking, women make better decisions in the cockpit. So by adding women, we're just adding a layer of safety. Not that men pilots are any less, but um, women just have a way of thinking, you know, through situations differently. Now, like Lorenz just said, this career is one that requires good decision making while under high levels of stress and pressure. And even after testing the simulator myself, like Todd mentioned, uh, you can just feel the anxiety just rising up the first time you're taking off and even trying to land. And it's just really cool to see how trained these students are and teaching me as well. Now, the Academy's ribbon cutting ceremony is at three o'clock this afternoon at Faith Lutheran. We're live in studio. I'm Rachel Moore.